Yo, I'm Matthew Kingpin. It's the second week of April as I'm recording this, and CS2's first major has just been freshly completed. Spoilers for if you haven't watched the games yet, but the team that next to no one expected to go all the way to the end, myself included, managed to secure the major championship. Navi, much to the surprise of pretty much everyone, defied the dismissal of the Pickums and secured their spot at the top. Regardless of what you think about the top-heavy major bracket, what you think about Natus Vincere itself, or of its current roster, Alexi and the boys managed to win it all. Speaking of Alexi, I wanted to base this video on the Finnish Fiend and his international squad specifically, because I personally found a lot of resonance with the idea of what that lineup represents the most to me. The ability of a true champion to persevere through multiple years of failure and hardship, and to keep moving forward when next to no one believes in you. So let's start with a little history lesson. Alexi B has been in the Counter-Strike professional scene for quite a while now, played for multiple Tier 1 teams across a number of years, but his first major spot of attention came from the run he had back with Entz in 2019, where they made it all the way to the Grand Finals of Katowice 2019, only to get absolutely curb stomped by everyone's favorite ineffable juggernaut, the old Astralis Powerhouse Squad. Easy for airport indeed. After that, the hype around Alexi died down quite significantly, most people just writing the Finn off as a bit of a joke character in Tier 1, the running punchline being, Alexi B ruins every team he's on. And as he was passed around from org to org, he was unable to find much success no matter what team he ended up being a part of. Fast forward to late 2023, where he became a part of the freshly international Ukrainian CS classic, Natus Vincere. The cards were not in the Golden Herod in-game leader's favor, as most of the old major winning Natus Vincere squad had either been signed away or had decided not to play. Another team down the crapper because of the Finnish failure, right? It certainly wasn't an easy run at the latest major, the group stage alone required taking down multiple crowd favorites, some of which they ultimately failed to successfully crack, like the dastardly Donk Squad Spirit, and the Caravan of Cash, Cloud9. Making playoffs was in many ways seen as almost a bit of a fluke for Alexi and his allies, although maybe not to the degree of G2's advancement, rip Jane PC. But with each passing playoff matchup, time and time again, the squad of Na'Vi proved that they had what it took to take on squad after squad of those sized up as far greater by the wider community. And the last hurdle was the monolithic major winning menace, FaZe Clan. A FaZe Clan fresh off of beheading the two other biggest giants of the playoffs, the venomous Vitality and the aforementioned Dose of Donk. Even I figured it would all be a wrap. Another boring blowout of a grand final, another absolute wash of a conclusion to a major in line with Rio 2023 in Paris 2023's unapologetically uninteresting showings. And after map 2, an absolute blowout FaZe Clan victory of 13-2 on Alexi's own choice of map. It was all but cemented. Then, something no one expected happened. The golden haired in game leader kept his cool, believed in his team, and Natus Vincere dished out one of the most brutal beatings of a grand final in years. Map 3 of the grand final of Stockholm 2024 put Alexi B's prior failure in the Astralis vs. Ents Inferno match of Katowice 2019 to shame. FaZe, the number one team in the world, were utterly defeated and Alexi B and his fellow teammates were standing victorious, to the surprise of that very world. What is the point of me telling you all this? Why go into detail about the guy and make such a long diatribe out of his story? Well, something that really resonates with me in particular about the journey of the Finnish underdog is that it superbly exemplifies the kind of dedication and self-assuredness that it takes to truly come into your own and become the best possible version of yourself that you can be. Dedication is about going above and beyond, giving 100% of what you have to give every day, and making sure that you never become complacent in your process of growing and improving. Because in life, and especially in CS2, if you aren't moving forward, you're getting left in the dust too by everyone else. I touched on this in another video, but in order to truly grow, you have to be able to recognize and accept when what you are doing isn't working. You can't think you're perfect where you're at. You have to be humble and always willing to try new things and learn, because the game of life and of Counter-Strike is a cutthroat ordeal. And throughout this process of experimenting and improving, you have to be immovably sure of yourself even when at times the entire world is trying to tell you that you'll never achieve what you're shooting for. Allowing toxic people to influence you specifically when all they want is to see your downfall is an unfailing strategy to never actually achieving anything meaningful. When it comes down to the wire and you're put to the ultimate test of whether or not you'll end up being something special, oftentimes no one will believe in you. No one believed in Alexi B. No one 
except his team. Oh, then what do you really man, feel? screw Alexi B haters. Every single time you go into HL TV, Alexi B is the problem. Alexi B is losing the game. No, it doesn't happen like that. The team is responsible for the losses and the wins. It's not just the in-game leader. Of course, he might, might beast the puzzle more than the usual player, but it's still a player. He's part of the team. He's not the team. So if we lose, that's our fault. I must confess, the last point I made is slightly untrue. While a true champion will have to stomach going it alone at many times, there are individuals out there who will see your vision and will help you achieve it. Granted, these individuals are few and far between, but they do exist. For Alexi, those turned out to be his teammates in Natus Vincir. Be humble enough, kind enough, and persevere long enough, and eventually someone will come along who wants to help you succeed. And the story of how you came to succeed will far outlive the tales of your failures. Earlier, I mentioned how I personally resonate with Alexi's journey to reaching the top of the mountain of CS, but I never really elaborated why. While I can't say for sure the exact semantics of how the slickback IGL's career and life have progressed, I can talk with complete assuredness about something I know intimately, my own life and struggles. A lot of the time, it feels like no matter what I try, I can't get anything going, I can't get any traction. I've failed at multiple creative endeavors throughout my life, tried things that ultimately I didn't have the aptitude to see through, whether that be academically, socially, or otherwise. But regardless, I continued to persevere, not content with giving up completely and resigning myself to mediocrity. I didn't expect anything to come out of this, or anyone to ever resonate with my creations and believe in me. I planned on making these videos just for the pure joy of doing it. Whether or not the views came was just a side objective. I kept persevering simply because I wanted to. I want to be nothing less than that true champion, someone like Alexi who didn't allow the lack of faith others had in him to stop him from keeping trying, who kept going despite experiencing failure after failure, who eventually did defy everyone's expectations and became the champion he was meant to be. And for the first time in a long time, with this channel, the support I've garnered, the views I've been getting, and the subscribers I've been gaining, I'm starting to get the feeling that maybe, just maybe, I can reach the top of my own mountain. That's about everything I have to say for this production. I know I might have gotten a little sappy towards the end there, but it did genuinely mean a lot to see someone that no one believed in defy expectations in the most spectacular way possible. I know what it's like to not be believed in, to be ridiculed and ignored. Hell, even I didn't think Alexi was going to win. I had Nobby not even advancing to the playoffs on my pickums, but he kept going regardless. And that's what I hope you can glean from this video too that you too can keep going regardless of whatever life throws at you if you persevere and have the character of a true champion. As always, please give me any and all feedback you have on this video and any others I have made. It is all read and appreciated deeply. Burn your dread, go into the future, and I'll meet you there. Do they overextend again? They might. Oh my god. I'd be on the railing to your left. Oh yeah, my goodness. Oh, you seen him? Let <laughs> 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 take those. Oh no, those in the ace.